This program has been classified for general viewing. Once a jolly swagman, he can't buy a pull bomb Under the shade of a cooler battery And he sang as he watched and waited till his pretty boy Till come a waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda Sabadi Car and welcome to Thai Oz Talk wherever you are in the world today. I'm Jay Walton for NBT, National Broadcasting Services, Thailand. For TGN, the Thai Global Network in 179 countries, and for Channel 44 in Adelaide in South Australia. Every week at this time, I'm so fortunate to be able to greet you and meet you here in this gorgeous Swiss Hotel Nylert Park. It really is the resort in the centre of the metropolis of Bangkok. There are some very interesting organisations in Thailand and we can benefit by knowing about them. One of these organisations is PCS, International Facilities Services. And I'm very pleased indeed today to welcome to the program and to introduce to you Mr. Sebastian Power, the Director of Business Development and Regional Account Manager Sawadee Car. Welcome to the program. I should thank say good morning to you, probably. Thank you. Good morning to you. And thank you for inviting me to this program. Well, I feel there are lots of things that people need to know that we don't always make the most of. There are facilities that we don't understand. And I wondered if you'd describe for me the, the overview, the business overview of PCS. What do you do? To put it simply, we project ourselves to the market as a total facilities management provider um, and that basically means that we provide all support services to commercial industrial property. That could be as a total package um, from management of the premises through to cleaning, security, pest control, washroom hygiene, even catering, um, maintenance and engineering and that will be plumbing and uh, electrical, um, all sorts of services to support the, uh, the functionality of the premises. Um, so we, we look at ourselves as a total um, service provider. It's very all-encompassing, isn't it? We have, our business has evolved over a number of years and so we've got our core yes. services and we've, we've expanded from that uh, in response to client requirements and also in response to market trends. What do you think's made PCS so successful and made them a really outstanding company? I think it's probably our core values. Um, we're not a listed company, we're a family business and we look That's for the long-term outlook. Uh, we're not susceptible to the vagaries of the stock market on a quarter-by-quarter quarter basis uh, and we look for the long-term view. We very much emphasize on client comes first um, and whilst we're quite a large organization in Thailand we pride ourselves on being responsive and having the nimbleness uh, to respond to client requirements similar to a, an organization that's much smaller uh, than we actually are. There's uh, a person-to-person -person relationship. Very much, very much. We, we value the, the personal outlook. At the same time we have huge resources that we can bring to the table and to support our clients. In Thailand we have a workforce of about 23,000 people. So, so we are big! We are a, a large organisation and we have coverage uh, throughout the country um, and supported through a network of 15 branches. So we literally can cover right the way from Chiang Mai in the north to Hat Yai in the south. Nowadays the corporate social responsibility is very important, isn't it, to the business world. And I've obviously heard about P PCS helping with the flood situation in Thailand at the end of last year. What exactly did you do and what are you doing now? Just to backtrack a little, uh, corporate social responsibility is a, a very important thing for PCS and we've been doing this for, for a long period of time. Uh, so it wasn't before just it became the flavour of the month. Before it became the flavour of the month and not just in response to flooding. Um, but we've 
um, increased our, our activities in response to flooding because obviously there was an immediate need. Absolutely. Um, the need's still going on though, isn't it? It is still ongoing. We've been part of an organisation called The Power of Thai, um, where we've worked in conjunction with other leading organisations and the main focus has been on cleaning and tidying up and uh, helping schools to recover. We're very focused on supporting education and supporting schools and community. See, the schools suffered in the floods. A lot of them suffered uh, very badly. Um, if you look at some of the schools in the, in the affected areas, uh, they've got tide marks up to the first floor of the, of the premises, and so there was a lot of flood damage to these schools, and obviously this to impacts the, the education. all the books and the equipment and everything. Indeed, indeed. And, and also, one has to bear in mind uh, the bugs, the germs and, and, and such like that comes with the flooding and the importance of disinfecting, sanitizing after the floods uh, have receded. So PCS's core act, one of PCS's core activities, cleaning, um, was a very useful service to, to bring to the table and to, to um, introduce and support the schools in making sure that they can get back up and running quickly. I've heard that people are still only now discovering pockets of water under their houses that are becoming very smelly and unpleasant. In certain places, yes. I mean, mm. it's taken a long time for, for, for the floods to dry out, uh, especially when the flood in the location where flooding is extensive. Mm. I wonder how those people cope, you know. Um, one's got to wonder. It's, it's very, very tough. I think they just have to, to get on and cope. Um, thai people are, are used to adversity. But thai this people are marvellous the way they cope. Probably, as a foreigner, I would guess that Buddhism has some influence on their coping ability, but they're inspirational and they don't complain. No, they don't. They they're, do it. They, they, they get on and cope, I think yes. the, the way to describe it's extraordinary. that. extraordinary. What would you, how do you feel about the business development plan in this year and what do you expect to do? This year, there's, there's a certain amount of uncertainty. We've got a significant minimum wage increase that's due to take place on the 1st of April and that is going to affect us quite significantly and have a knock-on effect to our clients. At the moment we're working with our clients to see how we can uh, mitigate uh, the, the effects of this minimum wage increase and manage it as best we can. Uh, so that's, that's a business risk we have to deal with. Uh, on the other side of things, it's also good to see that minimum wages are increasing. Uh, yes. They haven't kept pace with, with the increases in cost of living over the years. And it's good to see that people at the bottom rung of the ladder are at last getting uh, a chance to share in the development of the country. So um, as a country, it's, it's probably a good thing, but it's quite tough for businesses to cope with and manage um, so that they can, they can uh, run their businesses effectively moving forward. I'm very pleased indeed today that PCS came to the programme to explain not only your size, but the work that you're doing. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I do hope that you feel that we've taken you around Thailand this morning. This is something you can't afford to miss, you know. I do hope that you'll join me again next week uh, when we're going to again look at Chiang Mai. Uh, we'll talk about holistic wellness and also look at the marvellous opportunities for you to stay here at Swiss Hotel Nylert Park. Don't forget, this is our special time together every week, wherever you are in the world. And I'd love to meet you here at Swiss Hotel or in the Soy or down the road at Central Department Store. I'd like to meet you all over Thailand and it's very, very easy because Thai Airways International will bring you here smooth as silk. And I fly Thai, Sawadee Ka. Once a jolly swagman who can't buy a billabong Under the shade of a billabar tree And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled Till come a waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled Waltzing Matilda with me. Now up came the jumbuck to drink at the billabong. Up jumped the swagman and he grabbed 